Fine. Thank Liz you. McDonald is here. Mike Murphy, Art Laffer, Todd Horowitz complete mm -hmm. the block. Let's go round the block on Netflix. I said foolishly yesterday that it might be a thing of the past. Mike Murphy, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Make me feel bad. Well, uh, no, I, I get where you were coming from, Stuart, but yes, wrong. Uh, Netflix is a thing of the future. Um, the way we consume content is completely different nowadays. People want their content when they want it, at their home, at their convenience. That's where Netflix is. And one point. Stuart that I want to point out. Netflix is raising their prices 10%. That's people who have been there for a long time are getting grand they were grandfathered out of this. It's now coming into effect. 10% hike from $10 to $11. It's not going to get rid of customers, but it is having a direct impact on their bottom line. Fair point. Todd Horowitz, uh, Netflix, I know you don't do much in the stock market line of business, but would you buy it at 116 now? Uh, no, I think you're right, Stuart. I do think Netflix itself is a thing of the past year. You have to remember their earnings this year didn't even match last year's. All we did is we're giving, we're supporting a company that did better than expected this quarter, but not as good as last year. I think it's a sale, and I and I actually did sell it myself last night in the pre in the post market. But I think overall it is a thing of the past. They will get swallowed up by either Disney or Amazon or one of those, and Whoa. then they'll continue to move on. Mm. Well, that's a brave forecast there, Todd Horowitz. But I'll move on. Art Laffer, um, is, give me the give me the context here of Netflix. It's I'll give you the context. You know, Stuart, number one, I don't think you should beat yourself up for this. I can't tell you how many times I've been wrong. In <laughs> I'm still around and I'm 76 years old. But the thing that makes me so happy is I'm so glad you were wrong. That's one of the few stocks I own. And I, and I, I am not a stock picker at all, but I am just dancing on the streets today because of this. I've never, I've never had this type of luck in my life, and it's luck in my case. Just uh, okay. You're 76. You own Netflix, but don't retire just yet, Art Laffer. To the economy. Here's a staggering number for you. Try 152 trillion dollars. That is the amount of debt worldwide. What a huge wow. pile that is. Question: Does it set the stage for a debt bomb, a debt explosion, a debt crash? Mike Murphy. I, I think it does, and I, I really hope the global central banks have a plan because this is going to have to be a coordinated effort around the globe. But I think our debt has gotten There's out no of hands, plan. and this low interest rate environment is really making the problem a lot worse. When does the debt bomb, if that's what it is, go off? Todd Horowitz. You know, it, it, you can never predict. The markets don't announce themselves when they're going to happen. But one of the problems is that the central banks around the world aren't coordinating efforts. They have no clue. They continue to throw more money at it, hoping that it'll eventually go away. But the biggest problem in any market, in any cycle, is always too much debt. And we are so over debt right now. And if they raise rates a little bit, imagine what happens to the debt to GDP ratio, which is already at astronomical mm. record numbers. Mm. Any day it could happen, but it does not announce itself. So one of these days it will happen, but we'll have to wait and see until the free money stops. You got it. Art Laffer, what's wrong with the art? When you've got all these forecasts of an imminent crash, and it is October after all, all those yes. forecasts, what's wrong with lightening up on your stocks, selling half your stock portfolio? I know a lot of people are doing that, Art. Well, that's okay. I mean, if that's the way you feel and given your risk portfolio, that's fine. But when you look at the debt, it's not the coordination of central banks that's going to solve this debt problem. It's the exact opposite. It's the coordination of the central banks that has caused this debt problem. It's the quantitative easing, both here with Draghi in Japan. Have you seen what these central bankers are doing? They're buying stocks in companies in Japan. It's just out of control. These central banks need to be broken. They need to be broken up, not mm -hmm. the big companies. The central banks are the problem and the and, and the fiscal authorities too. Well, they rely just... on Art Laffer for drama and we got it today. All right, Art, <laughs> thank you very much indeed. How about